What is up guys, it is Mr. Fantastic here. I know it's a bit too early for iPhone 13 leaks cause iPhone 12 was just launched a couple of months back. But it is new year baby and new year brings new leaks. And finally Apple is bringing some big changes in iPhone 13 that are worth upgrading for. And links to all these sources where I got this information from will be in the description down below. All of these sources are very credible and have a great track record. So without any further ado, let's jump in. So first up, there will still be 4 iPhone 13 models just like iPhone 12. So we have the iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. It's just been a few months into iPhone 12's launch and initial sales figures suggest that iPhone 12 mini is not doing so great but many sources suggest and I think that too that iPhone 12 mini will soon start to sell very well because that happened the same with iPhone XR and the iPhone 11 and Apple acknowledges it too so they are still making a mini model. And the notch is finally getting smaller because if you compare it to its competitors like Note 20 Ultra it is ridiculously big. Like seriously that is humongous. Now it is still not going to vanish it is going to take some time and by some time I mean a couple of years so we will see a notchless iPhone in 2022 or 2023 with iPhone 14 or iPhone 15 because Apple does not want to kill the face ID and they want to keep it on their iPhones and the technology is still not reliable enough to put a selfie camera and the components of the face ID under the display so the notch is going to stay. And your beloved touch ID is also making a return this time around and it is going to be under the display and reports claim that it is going to be very fast and reliable and I think that it is an excellent decision because during these times face ID is not so practical. As of the highly anticipated features of the iPhone 13, which will also be the main highlight of it, 120Hz is finally coming. It was going to happen with iPhone 12 but was cancelled at the last time because it drained a lot of battery and iPhone 12 also had 5G. But finally, it is confirmed by multiple reliable sources that it is going to happen. It will be on all iPhone 13 models with LGPO technology so that the refresh rate can be varied depending upon the content being displayed to save better life and like all other 120Hz displays on Android flagships, it will make your phone super super smooth. Now the design will be very similar to iPhone 12 with flat sides but the camera arrangement will be slightly changed and the LiDAR sensor will be bigger and much more improved and speaking of LiDAR, it is going to be on all iPhone 13 models this year. As of 5G, it is said that in iPhone 13's millimeter wave 5G will be available globally which is currently exclusive to iPhone 12 in the United States which is great too. Lastly, I have a very shocking news for you guys. In case you don't already know, Apple is killing the lightning port and still not giving us the type support. So it will be completely portless and the only way to charge it will be wirelessly or with a MagSafe charger. Yes, it is shocking, I know. And like with killing the charger out of the box, which is being followed by Xiaomi and Samsung already, I am seeing other companies following the footsteps of Apple and removing the charging port too in the future. I think that Apple might give us a plastic MagSafe out of the box, but it is just what I think. We may not even have that, so we may just have an iPhone, some paperwork and a sticker inside of our iPhone 13 box. I don't know, let's see what happens. And also, the iPhone 13s are expected to cost more than iPhone 12s because Apple is only planning on using display panels by Samsung which are expensive than other brands like LG and BOE. Why is Apple using it? Well, because the displays by LG showed some issues in the past so Apple is not going to risk it and they're going all Samsung with iPhone 13s. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe with the bell icon and I'll catch you guys next time.